and welcome to episode 9 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orion. What a series! It's what I've wanted to always create for Youth Squad Legends and people are enjoying it massively. That is always great to see. Uh, League 2 standings, 23rd place Leighton Orion, 8 points behind Carlisle United. Only 1 point ahead of Colchester, who sit bottom. Here's the EXP growth, you can see that there's been a couple of breakouts, some force growth by the game. I don't think we're going to be able to stop that, but we have slowed it down significantly. So by the end of the series, we'll still get a team that have performed well on the pitch and deserve their overall. But for the guys that do break out the subsequent episode, so this one for Jude Hunt, Sabali, Kendall and Nantanina, they won't gain experience just to hold them back a little bit. I think that's the best way to do it. Without any further delays, this is the first game of the episode. Bradford City have got a forward line of Cook and Cook. Is that their home shirt? Bradford City playing in white. I wouldn't be happy if I was a Bradford City fan looking at that. More wins on the cards today. We played really well last episode. You never know. Amit Panda looks so different. We got the customizations in for Panda and Sampras. I mean, what kind of defending is that? Save Tembo. Out. Someone requested number 10 for Amit Panda, so Sabali's gone to number 9. It's a simple pass for Nanta Niner. Amit Panda, stylish. Can we get it through? Yes, we can! Thompson is getting subbed immediately. We have the worst away record. Nice. We've only won two out of the 12. 33 being worn by Sampras, and he's done well. And just playing a simple through ball here to Jean Paul Sabali. We should be in front. We could be in front. Oh, Nanta Nino takes control. Oh, Romeo Nanta Nino. Yes. What a f***ing ball up. Via can't really get close. Oh my God, that's so bad. One of the cooks has scored. Sosa's only got John Paul Sabali to aim at. Not crossing it into him. It's a waste of time. Great start by Leighton Orion. And then we just slip up momentarily. Taking this away with Romeo Nantanaino. Sosa into Amit Panda. It's just a bit distracting him being number 10 now. Zabali is number 9. I just don't feel comfortable with that. Sosa! Yes! Amit Panda! Easy tapping! 2-1 late in Orient! There's his new look. Enjoy. Amit Panda still knows the way to goal and that's the most important thing. Oh, you see? That's a ball. Close. Stay on side, Briem. Well done. Here's the cross. Someone got to be there. Put into the corridor of uncertainty. But everybody was uncertain to run into the corridor of uncertainty. Slide tackle. That's not worked. It is two against four. This is massive for Bradford. Here comes Proctor. Well done. Sabali will take it. And Amit Panda's doing a great job. Oh! It's a good little save, that. Fingertips. Pushes it past the post. I really wish we could play a bit more with Scott. I mean, 72 pace. He doesn't feel that quick. Shouldn't be slow at all. I don't even know where he is right now. He's in the center of the park. What's going on? Lads. Lads. Little chip. They'll control it. Oh, sets up the wrong person. So, so. Oh. Deflection. Maybe helps the goalkeeper. Saved it with his knees eventually. Kendall's got a chase on. I think Sam Pris is just taking the job off Thompson here as your first team centre mid alongside Nantanina. Because he has been great. He's been all over the field. I don't want to hold this. I want to try and get a winner because we've deserved it. That's a ball. It's Jean Paul Sabali. Yes! Come on! Panda can go for us. We can actually try and find this winger. Oh, that's an awful, awful pass. Jean Paul Sabali, wake up! They're waiting for the opportune moment. I'm gonna have to take him out, and I didn't! We should have finished off this game a long, long time ago, boys. Proctor, don't mess about. Do not mess about. Is that a straight red? Now there's just gaping holes. Mm. Without the rock at the back, it was bound to happen. Feel a bit defeated. Certainly deflated. We deserved. So much more than what we've got. The whistle will be sounded. And that is Bradford City 4, Leighton Orient 3. And now we don't have Proctor for the next game. Oldham Athletic against Leighton Orient. Interception by Romeo Nantanina. Go on, Amit Panda. Ball through. Easy stuff. It's child's play where you've got someone that direct in the middle. Go on, Romeo Nantanina. 
Panda. Panda. Panda, 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 Panda. 18 goals in 26 matches. Him and Sabali having great, great seasons. Free agents market will be incredibly juicy next season, no doubt. But we've got to be respecting of just how good these strikers have been for us. And just how loved they are. They are so loved. Again, inside of the right back. <laughs> Nantanina taking it on. This is John Paul Sabali. Amit Panda back to Nantanina and Sampras. Oh, boys, this is lovely, lovely stuff. Can't find Nantanina, but it's Jean Paul Sabali! What a goal! Yes! Just taking what they learnt from the last episode and going from strength to strength. That's Jean Paul Sabali's ball. Bring him into Panda. Sorcery's free. It's late on Orient's day, but we can't get a third goal. Sampras. Let's see a long shot from Sampras! Okay, okay. I think we've got our midfield pairing. Awful, awful goalkeeping. 3 0 Leighton Orient. Trying to get that interception with Amit Panda. Oh, that is a woo! mind boggling touch. I got completely done in as a defender there. Hop cut, cuts the deficit. Mm, come on, keep up. Play it across. It's good by Tembo, it really is. Now, Romeo Nantanina has the job of running at this defense again, which has just been. An absolute nightmare for Oldham Athletic. Jean-Paul Sabali, good save. Centre-backs were too close to one another. God damn it. How have they got through there? Yes, Tembo. Colin Campbell. Angles, mate. Keep on the angles. So we now have a one-goal cushion with just over 30 minutes to play. Weight's coming on for Sosa, who doesn't look like he's going to shake off the injury. It's going to be a chase for Wabiri Fikru, and Scott Cleaves is struggling in the middle. Oh, Tembo massive. What have I got on the bench? Oh, what a slide tackle. Jude Hunt's going to be replacing Scott Cleaves. And I think we need a bit more energy up front. Panda's been slowing down second half. So Hogan, got to pick ourselves up again. But it's looking so likely that this is going to be 4-3. Two added minutes. I see someone arriving back post. They don't need the one at the back post. Great save. Tembo, cleared, touch, into Chinedu Hogan. He's got this chance and this chance alone. Chinedu, across, Sabali, it's too, it's too much for him. Oh my goodness, what are you doing even trying to shoot? You're never going to reach that. If he just runs on and tries to play it back in, we might have had a shot at this. Oh, mate, devastated that this is end of 3-3. Bit bewildering when you think the last two performances have only got us a single point. Leighton Orient against Port Vale. We're now catching up with the class of this division, I think. Just allowing Courtney Scott to venture forward a little bit. Only a tiny bit. There's a cross. Right out with Panda's head. Solid enough save. So go to Briem. John Paul Sabali showing, he's smacking it, it's gone in! What a travesty for the goalkeeper! It's only a matter of time until we start winning games. That's mine. Searching ball for Sosa. Amit Panda drops it off to Nantanina. This is so silky smooth. It is Amit Panda on the edge of the box. Oh! <laughs> Look at Leighton Orient go! Pieces of the jigsaw finally falling in place. Amit Panda, 19th goal. Him and Sabali having a competition to see who gets the golden boot. Avia could have done a little bit more. Tembo fingertips. Let's sort out this front post then. Just cover it up. Nah. You've always got that threat of them playing it across. And Wilson, James Wilson, likes scoring against me. Sam Pras. Ball to Briem. Not a goal for Leighton Orient. To say that Briem is a 65 overall player, he does not show it. <laughs> Wilson's gone early with a shot, and I think it's just caught out Tembo a little bit. It didn't look set for the, the dive at all. Just before half time, we've seen our lead disappear. Literally the last attack of that first half. How disappointing. I could write a list of all the good things that we did in that first half. But you have to wipe it all away because we're starting at square one. Go on, Nantanina. Got to open up for him. Romeo! Nantanina! Sees his effort, smash the inside of the post. Probably shouldn't have put that much power into it. Ah, oh, Wilson, that'll be a goal. Why is this guy on? 
Why is he so good at scoring against us? It's going to end 4-3. It's going to end 4-3. 4-3. It's going to end 4-3. The game's gone. We could have had that third with Romeo Nantanina. Oh, we'll get it without it panned on. Oh, that's another post hit. Oh, so agonizing. James Wilson has got a hat trick. Got the match ball with three shots. Yikes. Now 11 points away from safety. But still in 23rd place. Poor old Colchester. Mansfield Town at this level, always a tough challenge. So it's going to be a big performance if we are to grab a win here. From an under pressure defence, Sampras gets it to Fletcher. Sampras goes down in a heap. That could be a free kick. And that would get me really excited just to have a free kick opportunity. Sampras! Lowenard, 1-0 Leighton Orient. We've been in this position before. Nanta Niner with all the room in the world. He goes wide, it's Fletcher! That's a bit better than Briem's efforts, come on! Great getting out the traps, but the final stretch seems to be a, a very big problem for us. Let's see how we can manoeuvre it today. It's a good touch, still in Mansfield. Oh, come on, man! Here comes the run, defence have just given up on it. Come on, Tembo, nope, that's 2-2. It goes like that. The lead that we built up goes like that. In a blink of an eye. Got to keep my head. He's on side. I don't know what Courtney Scott's doing. Don't know why he tried to step up there. The ball had already been played. So you can't catch him offside. I was going to be there for Leighton Ori. Oh, yes! Courtney Scott might claim it. It took a big, big deflection. Now he's got the goal. Well played. Loving Sam Prass's energy. Oh, Proctor. Oh, goodness me. And the scoreline now reads 4-3. Go on, let it finish 4-3. You won't. <laughs> Not happening. Big save. Nope. Tembo, 5-3. Make yourself available, Avia. A cross goal. Amit Panda. 5-4. With about eight minutes to go. We have played so well. Oh, Jesus. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything. Better than you! Uh, the AI have just taken a huge dump on my face. And I'm enjoying it! The aromas! Oh yes, the aromas! Let's release some players that are really unhappy. Just to try and get the average morale of the side up a little bit. Manager rating is low at 42. We might have to get a bit drastic and use the live editor to boost that up a bit. So we don't get fired. It was bound to happen. Colchester have leapfrogged us. And then the next game on the 5th of February. Tell you what, the situation that we're in with Radu Flocka having this 42 rating gives me a good idea for a scenario. Relations between the board and Radu remain very good as they do see potential for the Romanian to become a world-class manager. However, they might have been a bit premature with the project. If they do pull the plug, the door is not closed on a Radu return. They just want to see more qualifications. Flockar needs to work on his coaching badges. Three scout reports for you to have a look at. The winner will be placed into our youth academy. The polls on Twitter if you want to vote. Enjoy. Alan Papa finds Chad Burke best kid in Montserrat. That might not sound like much, but it could be worth a pun. Freddie Woodward in the USA. Former high school star at American Football, Sam Lewis is a tower of power just waiting to be retrained into a centre-back. And Louis Price in France, the whiff of fresh baguettes. Yum. Oh yeah, Isaac Cordier, attacker. Beautiful on the ball with both feet. So this has been cut to a rather stressful episode of Youth Squad Legends, but you see promise in the players, and that's probably where the good relations between the board and Radu Flocker remain. I'll try my best not to get sacked, but I think it's inevitable right now. And instead of trying to fight it, let's just take the L and come back a better manager. Because Leighton Orient will come back crawling to us, no doubt. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Never miss an upload. Please check out our other series, Create a Club, where we ask a random person on the internet to pick us a place, and then we create a club based off that place. It's good fun, just like this series. Big thanks to everybody on that right-hand side, supporting me on Patreon, keeping a roof 
over my head. Much appreciated as always. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.